when I arrived in Hong Kong, there was uh, fear, there was uh, kind of loss of what you are. You just kind of live in the mercy of God every single hour that passes by. I left Uganda because there was a threat uh, against my life and the threat was like increasing and increasing and increasing until such a point that I felt that I wasn't safe. So I decided to flee and leave. Every year since 2007, we have over 300 refugees and asylum seekers in Hong Kong. They all flee persecution, apparent violations of their rights, and the most desperate situation where they had no one to turn to. At the Justice Center, they explained to me about the whole process of applying for Protection Hong Kong because I didn't have any clue about how to do it. The process of seeking protection is very bewildering, confusing and hard to understand, even for those who are the best educated. For years we have provided uh, basic information and assistance. The idea for the app came about because I was thinking about the type of work that the Justice Centre does, how we could make that information more readily accessible to those applicants. The app actually provides the information that you would get when you're here in the Justice Centre about putting your claim with the Hong Kong immigration. Well, we built the app entirely in-house. What we've been trying to do with is to help support the Justice Centre in a new way, harnessing technology to make the work that one of our key pro bono clients does that much easier. We're delighted to work with Freshfields and this app is really a key indication of what these kind of partnerships can achieve. We've been working together for around 13 years now. The work that the Justice Centre does is so important in the Hong Kong community. I was just lucky because I was connected to the Justice Centre a few days after arrival. But there are people who spend months and months without any other idea about how they can deal with their situation. We have faith in the system, but the system is not perfect. The system may sometimes fail those in the most desperate need of protection. This is why NGOs matter.